This is a short story about a unique creature that lives in some of Britain's rivers and burns. It can survive for over 100 years and is one of Britain's most critically endangered animals. The freshwater pearl mussel can grow to about the size of your hand. They live in the riverbed and can easily be mistaken for a pebble. Freshwater pearl mussels need cool, clean conditions to survive and they feed by filtering the river water and removing tiny particles for nourishment. In doing this, they help to keep the water clean, which also benefits other river wildlife. An adult mussel can filter the same amount of water in a day as you might use taking a shower. There continues to be a dramatic decline in the freshwater pearl mussel population, despite this species receiving full legal protection in 1998. Excess silt, pollution and damage to the riverbed habitat all affect their survival. Freshwater pearl mussels, as their name suggests, occasionally bear a pearl. Pearls are very rare and illegal fishing for pearls still happens. One fishing incident can wipe out entire populations. Pearls in Peril is a UK project that has been working to address some of the main reasons for the decline in the freshwater pearl mussel. This species is a barometer of the health of our river environments, and the conservation work done to help freshwater pearl mussels also helps other river wildlife. PIP has undertaken a raft of activities, including tackling freshwater pearl mussel crime, delivering pearls in the classroom to over 4,000 school children in Scotland, England and Wales, and working with land managers to help conserve their watercourses. Freshwater pearl mussels have a fascinating life cycle. The female mussel releases millions of tiny larvae into the water column. The larvae are inhaled by juvenile fish, usually Atlantic salmon or trout. Once inhaled, the larvae, or glochidia as they are called, attach onto the gills of the fish. They will live here for at least nine months before dropping off and burying into the riverbed, where they will grow into an adult mussel. Fishery biologists have been giving pearl mussels a helping hand by trying to boost the numbers of young mussels in the river. The biologists have collected some adult mussels and placed them in a bucket of river water. The water temperature rises in the bucket and the oxygen level in the water decreases. This induces the adult mussels to release their glochidia. Once the glochidia have been released into the bucket, the adult mussels are placed back into the river unharmed. The fishery biologists then collect young salmon and trout by electrofishing. This process temporarily stuns the fish, allowing them to be collected. The fish are placed into the bucket with the glochidia for a few minutes. This ensures they have time to inhale the glochidia and the freshwater pearl mussel larvae can attach to the fish gills. After a few minutes, the fish are returned to the river and should be carrying the next generation of mussels. The bucket, with the remaining glochidia, is emptied into the river in the hope that the larvae will also be inhaled by a salmon or trout as it is washed downstream. It will take many years to know if this will be successful, as juvenile mussels will not be able to breed themselves until they are between 12 and 20 years old. But it is hoped that this method, which mimics the pearl mussel life cycle, will help to boost the numbers of young mussels surviving to adulthood. A big part of the project is restoring sections of river creating riverbed habitat that will provide new homes for freshwater pearl mussels, but also spawning sites for salmon and trout. Pearls in Peril have completed eight in-stream restoration projects on the River Dee and River South Esk in the Cairngorms National Park. This amounts to restoring almost eight kilometres of riverbed habitat. These projects have removed artificial structures such as fishing platforms and boulder bank protection. Old channels have been opened up and reconnected with the river, all providing new riverbed habitat for freshwater pearl mussels and their host fish. In one instance, 90 metres of embankment was reprofiled on the main stem of the River Dee. 31 old cars were removed, along with a lot of rubbish that had been used to create an embankment. 
The embankments on this tributary of the River Dee are being removed and the bank sides reprofiled. This will allow the river to take a more natural course, meaning the riverbed habitat will be more diverse and provide good habitat for fish. The river will also be able to erode the bank sides. Some erosion is essential as the cobbles, pebbles and gravel will get washed downstream and this sustains the freshwater pearl mussel habitat. Restoration work has also been carried out on the Afon Eden in Snowdonia. Helping to boost the population and restoring the riverbed should help to conserve our precious pearl mussels. But there is another major conservation measure being undertaken that over time will change our upland river landscapes. The water temperature in the upper tributaries of the River Dee has been on the increase and in some places the temperature has been so high that it is harmful to river wildlife. Pearls in peril have planted over 100 kilometres of native trees along these watercourses using specially designed tree enclosures, as well as carrying out work on the River Ian in Cumbria and the River South Esk in Scotland. The small tree enclosures are individually sited along the riverbank. They are constructed using stock fencing and then packed with at least 20 trees. The dense tree planting creates a pincushion effect and means that deer don't jump into the enclosures. Deer can graze the trees planted nearer the edge of the enclosure, but those out of reach can flourish. Because the enclosures are small, they can be situated to avoid deer paths, sensitive habitats and not interfere with land use. So far, over 900 enclosures have been planted. As the trees mature, they will provide shade and help to keep the water cool. The leaves and woody material will also provide habitat and a food source for river wildlife. Freshwater pearl mussels are barometers of the health of our rivers, so if their population are struggling, it means we need to act to improve our river habitat. Mussels are known as an umbrella species, so all of the work that has been undertaken to improve their habitat is of benefit to the river ecosystem as a whole and to all the plants and animals that depend on it, including us.